Last year, actually, this guy by the name of Josh Straub reached out to me, and he was asking if I was going to GDC, uh, and if I was, if I could meet with him and talk to him about accessibility in games. Growing up, my options for, for entertainment were limited. What developers need to realize is that video games do more than just entertain the disabled. First of all, they provide an escape from sort of the the doldrums of, of being disabled. And second of all, they provide a social space where instead of being judged by the physical appearance, we're purely judged by the actions that we that we do and the things that we produce in the game. I went to Bruce and Neil, our game director and creative director, and I explained to them what Josh had explained to me, which was like, he loved Uncharted, huge Uncharted fan. He couldn't beat Uncharted 2 because there's a series of doors if the button mash through at the end. I, ha I was faced with the reality that I had played this entire game. I had spent $60 on it, and I could not get any further without the help, without the help of a naval body person. The truth is, is that uh, in order to play our games, we really require a pretty high bar of proficiency for use of the dual stick analog controller. One of the big things in terms of accessibility is let more people enjoy the experience that you are also experiencing. I started talking to Alex. She was like, well, you know, um, during The Last of Us, we started with sort of an initiative for accessibility. Let's make this for a wider audience, but how much wider can we make it? You don't need to make the game so that you can play it with a head switch. You just need to make the game's controller flexible enough. Coming onto Uncharted, we had a lot of a big push for including more accessibility features. So we have an option now you can set so that you can hold down the button and it acts as if you're pressing the button continuously. And that works for things like when you're lifting a door up or we've been even incorporated into our melee. So if you hold down the punch button, then it'll continue to punch. <laughs> The main thing that I was interested in is was trying to make it so that you could play Uncharted 4 without using the right stick as much. Basically, you'd only have to use one stick at a time. And we've had to implement a couple of like, you know, specialized features that you haven't seen in other games. For instance, since we are a cover-based shooter, when you take cover, the camera has to pan around to be able to see the direction you're looking. That was one of the first things we noticed that you needed. The second thing is when you're in combat, you need the camera to also help point the enemies out. So. There's a little bit of help towards, if you're, if you're running towards an enemy, the camera will push a little faster in order to get them into your sights. And then the second thing we implemented was a lock-on feature. As you pull your, your aim button, then it'll snap to a target and you can shoot. We pride ourselves on being an inclusive community for our gamers, so it's just a natural extension that accessibility would be a priority. Uh, for us as a company and for Naughty Dog as a studio. When I first came on to the multiplayer team, I realized that we had always had our team set up as red team and green team. And it was really hard for me to be able to play the game because I am colorblind and I couldn't tell the difference between red and green sometimes. So I asked them, can I just change it to red and blue? And I went ahead and changed it in code and never, nobody ever questioned it. Now we have a team of blue team. I think uh, video games for a lot of people are often about being able to do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do, experience great adventures. And so when you find that there are some people who can't enjoy those things, it's kind of crushing. The goal of our accessibility initiative is really just to try to make our game uh, as widely accessible as possible uh, so that Really, you can come to our game without having to worry about, um, you know, am I going to have trouble interacting? When I turn on a game, I can try to, I'm not, you know, combined to a wheelchair. I'm a swashbuckling, ne'er do well treasure hunter like Nathan Drake. That brief period of escape is why accessibility is so crucial. Because the more games that offer that, the more people with disabilities will be able to escape and have better lives. After hearing that, I was like, okay, like, this is. This is important and I want to you know make sure that everybody gets to experience this and have fun. PlayStation.